And joining us now is Trevor Reed, former U.S. Marine who was imprisoned in Russia for nearly three years. He was released in a prisoner swap in April. Trevor, it's great to see you. I have to say you were looking great. I know that it's been quite a recovery for you emotionally and physically, and so it's wonderful to see you doing so well here. As you're watching this all unfold, are, are you worried at all that the Russians are not going to play ball with this deal? Uh, you know, I'm cautiously optimistic. I think that it's in their in their interests and in the United States' interest to get this done. So I, I am optimistic that they are going to agree on that. Um, obviously, you know, I'm not positive, but I, I have a good feeling about it. You do have a good feeling about it. Well, that's certainly very good news. And few people have been in this situation. You are one of them. What do you think it is like for Brittany Griner or Paul Whelan to know that there is this offer that has been made, there are these robust efforts, there may be hope? Uh, <clears throat> yeah, obviously, you know, I'm not sure that they are aware of that. Uh, in Russian prison, uh, you know, it's uh, sometimes difficult to receive uh, information there from the outside. They do kind of like to keep you isolated there. Um, I know that there were times where I didn't receive any outside news for, you know, weeks at a time. So I'm not sure if they're aware that that's on the table or if anyone's told them that. But I'm sure that they're, you know, they have a lot of hope if they have heard that. And what about their families? I'm sure you've discussed this with your parents and, and your family. How do you think their families may be feeling right now? I think that they're probably overjoyed that uh, the United States has taken this step and that President Biden and the White House have gone and gone ahead and put this offer on the table. Um, I think that's something that the White House should continue to do, not just for Paul and Brittany, but for, you know, all Americans who are wrongfully detained. So there's over 65 Americans, at least, who are wrongfully detained. And uh, I hope that the administration continues to do that. In, in the case of your release, Trevor, I mean, we didn't know that you were coming home until you were well out of Russian airspace. It went from you were detained and there were efforts to get you out, but all of a sudden it was happening. Why do you think that this is being done differently? Uh, I think maybe that could signal a change um, in policy in the administration. Maybe they're going to be you know, more more open to, to doing exchanges uh, could be the fact that they're trying to show, you know, Russia how important it is to this administration to get this done. It could be a lot of things. I'm uh, obviously not an expert at that, but uh, I think that it's a good sign for sure. Are you concerned, Trevor, that this may be leading to a growing trend of Americans being detained wrongfully by Russia, that this might actually incentivize Russia? No, absolutely not. So they took Paul Whelan three and a half years ago and immediately asked for a, you know, a prisoner exchange and the United States refused that. After that, they took me uh, and wrongfully detained me there. They asked again for a prisoner exchange. The United States refused to do that. And after that, they took Brittany. So, you know, if that's the argument that this incentivizes taking hostages or taking people and wrongfully detaining them, I think that the evidence shows that they're going to do that anyway, even if they don't receive what they're asking for. Trevor, you've been home for months now. I know you're always understated uh, about how you're doing, but certainly it's it's a recovery to be back after being detained for so long. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Uh, I'm getting better every day. Um, I've been working out, eating healthy. Uh, and uh, just kind of relaxing, taking a break from everything. I think that's important to do after, after a situation like that. Yeah, well, I mean, I know you're watching this and hoping that Brittany and Paul are going to be in that situation very soon, Trevor, and we appreciate you being with us. Trevor Reed, thanks. Thank you. Thank you for having me.